Islands to environmental issues at St. John Primary School. The bobbin is a substation of medical chapter 15 and verse 3. I start of verse 1. Behold, I, behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. It says, Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness had exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harakakodash. How is the name of the Heavenly Father, which means he to be here, exists, he exists in one. Shalom. It is the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy, to the only wise power, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever, so be it. Giving our praises, our honor, and our glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rachaha Khodash. Double honor to mighty chairs, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone who watch over our souls. Shall warm to the Yakim who avoid and are sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rachaha Khodash, 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all, stay strong, stay mighty. To the younger brother, the disciple, Kushab Ben Yamian, from the branch chain, Great Millstone Barbados. Now, this news clip you heard here, this was from December last year, all right? December last year, I was holding on to it because I was monitoring things around here. You see? Right? Um, so like yeah. Now, the brother here from Trinidad, he brought out an article yesterday. There's leprosy in this island, right? Now. This picture you see here, and it says QEH, which stands for Queen Elizabeth Hospital, to force is the area code. Alright? Queen Elizabeth Hospital, full. Bayview Hospital, now there's a private hospital. Bayview Hospital is a private hospital. Bayview Hospital, full. No room in the end. Serious outbreak of dengue and CV-19 coupled with nurses who are either ill or on vacation has placed a level of strain on the public health care system never seen before. Not a word from the Minister of Health or his ministry received from a source. Please be careful out there. There is a virus going around. It contagious and it stains on people for at least three months it affecting your heart also some people going into the hospital and dying and dying please be careful and build your immune system all right and then this one here is in trinidad COVID protocols return to tobago schools so if that's in trinidad and tobago and this one i showed you here it's saying Barbados and in the skip above on the right isn't bar isn't Barbados. How long do you think that the protocols that Trinidad school is going through is not going to happen here in this island? And be smaller than Trinidad. We only have 66 square miles. Is right? Now there's a, um 
I forget. I keep forgetting this man's name, right? I keep forgetting this man's name. But this man, he's um, he is a uh, 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 strong um, dislike for the WHO and the C19 that happened 2019-2020, right? I keep forgetting this man's name. So whenever things come out, he, he's always on it. I can hear a little bit of the voice note. Um, but you know, you two in one. Um, take down a video for quote unquote medical misinformation. But this is um, corporate disclaimer. Or oh, furthermore, um, the minister of state, the minister of state for health resigns. That's here in Barbados, huh? The minister of state for health resigns. Right. The honourable Mayor Motley, blah blah blah. This letter here. Resign. Action from the post of member of state in the Ministry of Health. And they just let it here going on, blah, blah, blah. You know, so a lot of things going on here. I, I, I ain't got your voice note no more. That would be spirit, eh? All right. Because that would get taken down, right? But this man going into the um, virus that let go in, um, in Ghana. Right? Um, in Ghana and... A lot of things going on behind closed doors, is right? Oh yeah, um, disease X, right? Klaus Schwab. I wonder if I can show. I wonder if you got another camera here. Let me see something here. All right. So look. Uh, oh, this is work, my brother. Uh, all right, good. Disease X, right? Klaus Schwab, the WEF, and the so called global elites are gathering together for a five day annual meeting in Davos from January 15th to 19th. One of the topics on the agenda has raised some eyeballs. Preparing for Disease X on January 17th. The C-19 has been reported to have claimed approximately has claimed C-19 has been reported to have unalived approximately 7 million lives worldwide but disease X on the other hand they warn could result in 20 times more unalived, unalived people than the uh, the job pandemic. So, <clears throat> yeah. So this is um some serious times we in, right? But I present no kind of my mind there. I want to play a little bit of this video here too. But I present no kind of my mind there, right? <clears throat> and it's in the book of um. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 25. God they went wrong here in this island and there was um gathering information on you know how many people live in your house, uh how many people working, how many bathrooms, how big the house is, you know what I mean? So they can get ready to make the move, you know? With this next with this next um Catastrophe, but there's Proverbs 3, verse 25. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. So, the desolation of the wicked will come, but the Lord is telling us to don't be afraid. Why? For Yahweh, Yah means he, Yahweh means to be or exist. But Hashem, in the name Yahweh Shai, Yah means he, Yahweh Shai means redeemer. Or deliver, he come to redeem and deliver the nation of Israel. If 
from their sins. Huh? For the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh shall be thy confidence and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Right? I go, I know how to do the split screen because I want to go to the New Living Translation here. But I see a preset, right? Proverbs 3. So we ain't got nothing to worry about now. Now, um, my two sons, um, caught what was going on in the air, vomiting, fever, you know what I mean? Um, I don't think they had diarrhea, you see? But mostly vomiting and um, fever, you see? And they showed you the video down here. They like seen a lot of fever going wrong, then get etc. etc. So I just tell my wife, look, just keep getting us a lemon grass, you know what I mean? Um they go want there to eat. Because when you sit, you don't really want to eat, you know what I mean? <clears throat> you don't really want to eat. Basically you just want fluids, you know what I mean? So I tell you, look, just give them lemon grass. As a herb over here, right? Lemon grass. But I can't remember what she give them for the um for the vomiting, but the lemon grass brought the fever down, right? But can't remember she getting up for the vomiting. Now me on the other hand, this year started rough for me. You know, my infirmity come up on me. Um you know it made me immobile, come come move, come walk, and then um recover from that in two weeks and then um Now I catch what's going on over here. So I got diarrhea. I'm gonna vomit in on them, but just got diarrhea. Feel like I can drop dead, feel weak and all that, you know what I mean? But anyhow, you know the Lord protected my family, you know what I mean? He got me still up and up, you know what I mean? So to water your hawa by Hashem I was shy and through my ordeal I was praying for my boys, for myself and for the brothers worldwide too, you know what I mean? Brothers that like, catching the families that like, catching the ass, you know what I mean? I'm selfish, you know, let's pray for myself, you know what I mean? I pray for the headmen all down too. Because they're up in ears, so, you know what I mean? Anyhow, tell me, you got me that King David spirit. That's another video I want to do to write. But anyhow, Proverbs 3, 26, in the New Living Translation. Let me get to 25. You need not to be afraid of sudden disaster or the destruction that comes upon the wicked. So, basically, you get caught in these plagues, man. Is for them. It ain't for we. You see? Right? And if we do catch it, we ain't gonna suffer the same effects like them. Because the Lord ain't got be covered. You see? Right? The Apostle Paul was bitten by a viper, a robber he nothing. You see? Right? Anyhow, verse 26 For the Lord is your security. He will keep your foot from being caught in a trap. See? So let me play a little bit of this brother's video here. There's the, the head in Trinidad, or it will be one of the heads in Trinidad, right? Yeah, it's the reason why I read that that scripture in the beginning, right? This is the um, the, the observer, or the people observer, I can't really see too close, right? It says, um, one case of leprosy confirmed in Barbados, residents told not to panic, right? Uh, where, these, where these diseases come from? Right, it's you noted know, reporting in movies that they have all these these diseases in labs, right? In the CDC, Center of Disease Control, where we are led to believe that they release these diseases, these diseases, right? Um, who is the the wicked that rule, right? They use these diseases as um warfare, right? To get the people to subject or submit to their or to yield to their will right now what they can do is when the fear grows you can see a lot i mean people was wearing masks even before this year turned come back wearing masks and things is right <clears throat> so when the fear grows now um you can see uprisings of the people because a lot of people get injured from the juicy juice you know what i mean and um, you can see a lot of people. You can see a division. You can see a division. Well, you don't take the vaccine. 
man, tell me that, so vaccine. So you can see a division. It's right. And mostly people here in this island. And that's just what the elites want. It's right. Which is going to end up in these last days that all these diseases are going to come out, you know. Jeremy 28 and 58 speaks about the plagues. Right? The plagues. I'm going to fuck out, get out real quick. You know, um, you know, the play here in Second Asher 6, 16 and 5 speaks about the arrows as well. That is a play, the missiles, right? Second Asher 16 and um, <clears throat> 19. A motherfucker can start at 17. Who is me? Who is me? Who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows, great mornings, the beginning of famine, great and great death, the beginning of wars. And the power shall stand in fear, beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come, you know? The beginning of evils, big man. So we're in the beginning stages. So you can't be a, a Johnny come lately over here. You see? You can't be a Johnny come lately over here. Right? Let me get Matthew 24. Yahweh Shai foretells the future. Right? Yahweh Shai foretells the future. So Yahweh Shai was prophesying. Right? <clears throat> Signs of Hamashiach's return. Right? Is it Matthew 24? And 7. For a nation shall rise against nation. <clears throat> and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. And pestilences. And earthquakes in diverse places. See that? So there are going to be famines, food shortages, because the wicked is going to surround the city, cut off the food supply, stop the shit. You see what's going on over there in, 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 in the Middle East? The prices to, to bring goods from point A to point B now skyrocket. Now war causing a lot of ships to, to, to can't really do the work like before the merchants you know what I mean anyhow pestilence says Strong's G 3061 Loimas Loimas a plague literally the disease or figuratively a pest but we didn't even literally say uh, the disease say Pestilence. See? I just want to see this. Let me get here. Twenty minutes. Alright, let me shot shot here shortly, man. Pestilence. Pestilence. A fatal epidemic disease. Especially bubonic plague. Neither prayers nor demonstrations halted the advance of the pestilence. So you get the point. You see? What does the Bible mean by pestilence? Pestilence means a deadly and overwhelming disease that affects an entire community. You see? And, and I was showing about the protocols. Protocols back in Trinidad. Right? For the schools. And I show one here that the hospital. The two hospitals overwhelmed with an outbreak of dengue and CV-19. Nurses ill or on vacation, you see? And the public health care system is trying out right now, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's the times we in, you know what I mean? That's the times we in. It's good to say it's redeeming the time because the days are evil. Let me end with that, see? That's about Ephesians. My other Ephesians. Ephesians 5 and 15. See? See them that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. See? So, once we understand all of this here, when things ramp up, you know, we can already be prepared.
So hey, we already will be prepared, you know what I mean? So they ain't catch me off guard. Now the rest of the world can be caught off guard. So hey, but the Lord should be day confidence, you know what I mean? I should keep their foot from being taken. I read that earlier, so. Like I tell one of my boys at it, but they ain't good. You know what I mean? They got you diarrhea. But you easing up to the spirit of your whole body. Shimmy, I'll show you. Like, good. You know what I mean? You got no fever on there, so. The Lord has care for his elect. I ain't saying his elect, but the Lord has care for his elect, so. You can watch over his, you know what I mean? And yo, shout out one.